Let me thank uh, Ife and the other conveners of this conversation. And also to thank you all for uh, coming together at very short notice for, for, for this conversation. Many of you here have been in the forefront of uh, financial inclusion efforts, especially since 2015. Uh, and quite a few here uh, worked with us on the various social investment programs, trying to get cash to the hinterland and to underserved areas and all that, conditional cash transfers, trader money, etc. But today the challenge is uh, a much narrower one, a much more poignant one, uh, nevertheless. And this is how to ensure that the average Nigerian can get the new Naira notes. There are at least... Uh, four problems, or maybe five, that the CBN and the banks need to address immediately. And I'll just outline some of those issues, you know, just to set, I hope, the tone for the conversation. The first is being able to return old notes to the bank, which, you know, I think is one that at least has been addressed to a good extent now. The second and the more disturbing is that after depositing your old notes, there are no new notes. So people everywhere in the urban areas and rural areas simply have no cash. And of course, you need cash to pay for practically everything, for transport. In Abuja, for example, how do you take drop or along or use a kekena pep without cash or buy foodstuff on the road, you know, or in canteens or even buying recharge cards? You know, parents with kids in public schools give money daily to their children for lunch. So, so, and all of these, of course, require cash. The fourth issue, of course, is supply. I think, you know, that is really the elephant in the room. The CBN must simply produce enough new notes to deal with the demand. So I think the question is, what will work? Are there ways by which we could make the experience of getting new notes easier and more humane for our people? Are there ways of doing this? This is why, you know, uh, when Ife and... Uh, his merry band of uh, argumentative uh, young men and women uh, came to me. I thought perhaps it might be a good thing for us to open this conversation up to the real world experts such as yourselves. And perhaps, um, you know, within the hour we could come up, we could come about uh, some ideas that may help uh, government, uh, especially the CBN and the commercial banks in being able to just do this more humanely being able to get money across to people uh, faster, more humanely, and, you know, hopefully uh, we'll be able to relieve people of some of the pain that they're going through uh, today. So again, just to thank you all very much, and uh, I hope we'll be able to have a very fruitful conversation today. Thank you. <laughs>